Hi everybody, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can record audio from a web page. This is an, any internet site that has audio. You can easily capture that audio and save it as an MP3 file. So to do this, you're going to need the Google Chrome browser, and you can do this on a Mac or a PC. If you open up a fresh tab of and in the search, type in Chrome Audio Capture. It will be the first thing that comes up right here, Chrome Audio Capture. It is an extension for Chrome. And this is really handy if you just want to grab some sound from a podcast and save it to listen to later. Uh, or if you want to grab a quick sound effect from a video or just anything really. There are many reasons why you might want to capture audio from a web page. Now, I already have this installed on my Google Chrome, but if you don't have it installed, there'll just be, instead of remove from Chrome, there'll be an install button here. Let's, let's just reverse the process here. Okay, so it'll be add to Chrome. There we go. And then click add extension. And then you'll see up on the top right hand corner, there should be a little red button that appears. If for some reason the little red dot is not showing there for you, you just have to click on this little puzzle icon here. This is the extensions that you would like to be pinned. So you can pin certain uh, extensions to the top there. Now I'm going to show you how we can actually use this. I'm going to record some audio from a YouTube video. Let me fire up one of my own videos so I don't run into any issues with copyright. And what we simply do is we hit that little red button anytime we want to record some audio and we uh, select start capture. There are some hotkeys, command plus shift plus U will start, command plus shift plus X will stop. So let's see if I can actually use this shortcut. So I'm going to hold down command and shift and U and we should be recording. Now I'm going to start the playback of the audio I would like to record. And we've got an ad. Isn't that beautiful? Hi, everybody. It's Nat from Studio Hacks here. So that's me video, talking I'm on that video. How to use the compressor in GarageBand. And this is also a... And then when we want to stop, you just click that button again or use that shortcut there and select Save Capture. And then it will encode it as an MP3 and select Save Capture. And where... Uh, it asks you where you want to save this. Um, so let's go test audio. And then that should be saved to the desktop. And if I want to edit that, uh, I can open that up on a Mac. Uh, I can use GarageBand or Audacity um, on the uh, PC. I'm not a PC user, but I know that Audacity is a free audio editor that you can get. Um, so if I just want to create a blank uh, project here, let's go blank project. And I can simply drag and drop if I select an audio track, if I create an audio track, uh, I can simply drag and drop that file there into GarageBand and I can edit that if I'd like um, down to just the audio so I don't have a long pause at the start or at the finish. Let's have a quick listen to that. It'll just be my voice talking. Hi everybody, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here. And in this video, I'm going to... So I can go file, uh, sorry, I can go share and export song to disk. And then I can save this one as a new file to the desktop. If I select MP3, I'll call it test audio underscore edited. And there we go. I have the edited version of it there. And I can do whatever I want with that. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about how to use GarageBand, how to produce music in GarageBand, uh, do check out my new Udemy course, Creating Electronic Chilled Out Pop Music uh, in GarageBand. And I will leave it, a link to that and also my GarageBand for Beginners course in the description of this video. Thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel. Uh, with your views and your likes and your subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd love to have you on board for, so you can see my future content, uh, which is all related to audio, digital audio workstations and music production. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.